Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Our computers can store a lot of stuff thanks to big flash drives and cloud storage, but there's a limit to how much they can hold. As our computer programs get fancier and we download more things, it's easy to run out of space. And while the idea of upgrading your Mac's hard drive may seem like a solution, the reality is that that's quite expensive and this wouldn't even work for all Mac models since the majority of them are not even upgradable. So, to ensure your Mac runs smoothly, it's a good idea to regularly check how much space is left on your hard drive, ensuring there's always enough room for the next thing you want to download. In this video, we'll explore three different ways to check your disk space on a Mac, but before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on our content. To start off, I believe the easiest way to check your Mac storage is using the About This Mac feature. First, click on the Apple icon on the top left corner of your screen, then choose About This Mac. Once you're there, click on More Info and select Storage Settings from the options. Here you can see a breakdown of how much space is being taken up by your system data, documents, apps, and more. Now, after checking your Mac storage, how much free storage do you currently have on your Mac? Let us know down below in the comments. As you can see, I'm currently using 181 gigabytes of 256, so it might be a good idea for me to free up some space afterwards. Good news is that there is an easy way for you to do this. We all know that large and old files can be a real problem on our Macs, cluttering up valuable storage over time. So, to free up your Mac storage really quickly, I highly recommend you use Clean My Mac X as it has awesome tools for that. To get started, simply download Clean My Mac X and don't worry, a free trial is available so you can test it out. I've included a link down below in the description. Once downloaded, make sure to open the app and there you will see all the options on the left and there is a dedicated module for the large and old files. Click on Scan and it will automatically identify all the large and old files that are currently on your Mac. And here comes the fun part. You can simply select the files you want to get rid of. It offers the options to select the files by kind, size, or access date. Then click Remove and Clima Mac X takes care of the rest. The app also has another module called System Junk, which optimizes your system and resolves errors. So it is another tool that we recommend you use. Simply click on System Junk, click on Scan, and click on Clean or Review Details before that step, and Clean My Mac will do the cleaning for you. Again, if you're interested in trying Clean My Mac X, I've included a link for the free trial down below in the description. Now, going back to how you can check your Mac storage, there is another option. You can use the Disk Utility, a built-in app which helps manage both internal and external storage devices. This may seem a little bit complicated at first, but it isn't, trust me. So make sure to open Finder, go to Applications, Utilities, and find Disk Utility. Another option to find a Disk Utility is to use the Launchpad or ask Siri to open it for you. Then click on your Macintosh HD and there you have it. A general overview of used and free storage. And remember, for detailed insights about this Mac is your go-to. And last but not least, you can also use the Finder app to check how much available storage your Mac has. The Finder is your all-in-one organizer for Mac data, and it organizes all of your data, such as apps, media, documents, folders, and more. So, click on the Finder icon, go to Macintosh HD, which should be under Locations on the sidebar, press Command-I on your keyboard, and the info window will immediately open up. Then, click on General to see the capacity available and used storage. It's a quick way to get a general overview. Before we wrap up, make sure to watch our video to free up space on Mac as well to learn valuable tips to make the process easier and more efficient. I'll make sure to free up some space on my Mac as well. And there you have it, three different ways to keep your Mac storage in check. 
If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things Mac. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.